Yeah, hello. Another laptop here. Acer M5. You can see, I picked up the back cover. The battery is not looking very nice. It's bulging. It's swollen. See this part here? Let me try to grab the battery. Yeah, so the battery is out. I don't know whether you can be able to see that. Let me show you. See the swollen part here? This part is almost bursting, man. I don't know. I don't know what uh, what is going on inside. Yeah, but this is normal for batteries to bulge or to get swollen with time. After some use. So, it's not a big deal. We are just going to change the battery and move on. So, let's also check what we are... Let's try to see the what is happening on this laptop here. Because this laptop is not bringing giving us a display. I don't know what could be the issue. So let me take the multimeter here. We try to take some measurements on the on the motherboard very important you can see we have the 19 volts oh sorry i've taken the multimeter on the other wrong section yeah the 19 volts is there yeah you should have 19 volts on the charger and the dc in jack socket and also the first and the second MOSFET in the motherboard, the screen connector. Those areas you are supposed to have 19 volts. That's where you get your 19 volts. Let me get some ground here. Yeah, we have the 19 volts on the DC in jack connector. Yeah, the the second, the first and the second MOSFET, I think they are there. they are on the other side of the of the motherboard. But we still can get a 19 volts on the screen connector. So let me check. The screen connector is just around. So which coil is this here? We have a 19 volts here on these cups too. So in short, we have a 19 volts rail present. Yeah, we have talked about this before. The main power rates you find in a laptop, whether it's on or off. The 19 volts, the 5 volts, the 3.3 volts. You can see our 5 volts is there. I don't know whether I should write this so that you guys cannot forget in future. Let's try to see where the main power rails. Main power rails in a laptop. Main power rails. Uh, main. <coughs> Sorry. Power rails. Okay. Uh, this rail has, these rails are present when the machine is off or on. Whether the machine is working or not working. So, number one, 19 volts. And 19 volts. We are going to check where we are going. You can get the 19 volts on a laptop's motherboard. So, we are going to address that further. So, can we check number two? The five volts. Number three. The most important volts. They say 3.3 volts. Ah, yeah. Let's check. Where do we get the 19 volts? Number one. Get it on the charger. Or the DC in jack connector. First and the second MOSFET. You can also get it on the screen connector. 
yeah we'll be going through this and i'll show you how you know the 19 volts track pad it's uh, it's a bit bigger than the other pads there the, the other power uh, tracking pads the power tracking pads of the motherboard so as we have checked before we have seen before that we're having our 19 volts on the dc in connector there there it is yeah the first and the second mosfet are on the other side of the motherboard so you have to flip the board on the other side so that will happen after we open yes the other side the other side of the board flip there down there so let's check let's continue checking taking measurements yeah is it there was that 3.3 volts Oh, sorry guys, I'm just taking this. We are going to check together under the microscope. Yeah, I've tried to capture the multimeter this time round and the power supply together. So that you can see the readings I'm taking on the motherboard. But that will happen when we go under the microscope. See the 19 volts is present. Okay. Those three parts we have just said there. So now, let's see if, okay, that page is full. Let's see the five volts. Where do you get the five volts? Remember, the volts should be there whether the machine is working or not working. Or no, okay, let me not use working because you'll understand whether the machine is faulty or not faulty. Um, whether the machine is on or off, that should be the right term whether the machine is on or off these are the voltages you should always get the 19 volts the 5 volts the 3.3 volts they are the most important volts in any motherboard yeah those volts are very important like that girl or that guy you took to the valentine yesterday the valentines Okay, 5 volts is there. Yeah, make sure those guys are not important for some time. They should be important forever. Yeah, it's happening. Your significant one will be important for a very short time. Yeah, I hope that's not you. But yeah, I'm just letting, know, letting you know it's happening to a lot of us outside here. But let me not dwell into that. It's a, it's a bit ambiguous topic to, to embark on right now. Isn't it? So the 5 volts on the flash. Yeah, I'm connecting the 5 volts. Uh, let's try to press the power button and try to see. I'm just giving you some hacks on how you can detect these voltages. The 5 volts, some of you may not be able to, de to detect where or to locate the coil, the 5 volts, the USB coil. So you can use a flash disk. Uh, insert it in a USB port and try to press the power button and see whether you are going to see a, a light there. Uh, check there, that flash disk has got an LED light, a red one. It blinks. You know we're good to go with our 5 volts. Yeah, I saw something. Did you see it? Check again. So let me remove and return it. For the second time, will I see something? I saw something for the second time. Also the third time. The fourth time. So... If you have not seen that light there, then you have a problem. Let's continue. So now it's, it's evidence that you are having our 5 volts. 5 volts, you get it on the USB ports. So let's continue. 3.3 volts. Where do you get the 3.3 volts? Ah, yeah. 3.3 volts, you get on the CMC chip. 
it's on the other side of the motherboard, the BIOS chip and the power button. That's where you should get your 3.3 volts, guys. Eh? So without much ado, let's go directly to checking those voltages. Start with the power button. Yeah, the power button is here. Power button is here. Let's see. 2.2, 1 1.8, 1, 2.2, 1.8 is not fluctuating. What could be causing this? Maybe that's why our laptop is not coming on. Power button is not very nice. I'm not happy with the voltage I'm picking from the power button. The CMC on the other side, like we said before, let's go to the BIOS chip. The BIOS chip is here and I'm getting a zero voltage drop. Why? Why am I getting a zero voltage drop? Yeah, I don't like that. So I don't like when I'm starting to get that uh, the, the BIOS chip is not having any voltage. It's not a very good thing. It's not a very good case here. Now, now, why am I not getting 3.3 volts on the BIOS chip? Does that mean we have a dead PCH? Does that mean we're having a shorted component on the motherboard? What does that mean? Oh, nothing. Don't worry, guys. We'll go together under the microscope very soon. Nothing. I'm getting nothing. Yeah, and I don't like it also on the bar button, the 2.5. I don't like it. Okay. I think we'll try to, to go under the microscope together. And try to see what we can do. Maybe can I try to put the machine on again? It's more. Okay, the machine is coming on. You get to see the backlit keyboard, but after sometimes the machine will go off by itself. I don't know why. You can see the backlit keyboard there on the screen, on the laptop screen. The keyboard is on and then it will go off. Keyboard is off. Keyboard is off. Okay, let me show you where I'm pressing the power button so that I can get those results. Um, okay, power button on. Yeah, the backlit keyboard is on as you can see. It's gonna go off very soon. So that is what we are getting. Uh, and up to now, guys, I must say I have not been able to figure out why this is happening. So let me insert the charger again and try to continue working. Yeah, let me not give up. Yeah, in this job of laptop repairs or the technician, sometimes we get discouraged. Sometimes you'll have a laptop which is behaving in an abnormal way. Sometimes you won't even be able to tell why the laptop is behaving like that. But in this case, we are not going to give up. Let's continue checking. Taking some measurements here and there. What is going on with this laptop? I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to think. I don't know. What, what, what should I check? Let me also try to reset the BIOS.
yeah i'm also trying to suspect the ramps here but i've took the vo yeah they are getting a little bit hot but i don't know why and I'm ge i got no voltage there's no voltage on the ramps the ram stick but i keep getting some some higher temperature on the ram stick and the memories i don't know whether it is ram stick or the memory the ram memory soldered on the motherboard i really don't know which is which just don't know what uh, but there's a bit of heat there the temperatures are a bit high so let me try one more time let me try to see this behavior here after i've reset the bios maybe there's some changes yeah the same issue keyboard comes on and then goes off again one more time backlit keyboard on after some time it's off again i don't know what to call this okay what do i call this can see yeah very confused yeah the temperature is still a bit high so let's check under the microscope guys Yeah, as you can see the top right corner there i have my multimeter in the power supply so this time guys this time round up tried to see how you can see the readings i'm getting on the motherboards through the multimeter yeah i'm still trying to invest on more cameras these cameras are very expensive so now the gopro i'm using on those the multimeter and the power supply i think that gopro costed me around around forty five thousand these things are kenyan shillings that's around like uh, i don't know how much is the dollar today we are having a weaker shillings against the dollar so yeah we will review the camera later so let's first of all work on this motherboard yeah, i'm just trying to let you know that the the recording setup is not very cheap to have I still need another camera which is going to let you see the power supply and the multimeter when I'm opening the laptop when I'm not under the microscope. But in life you start with what you have and you go attaining what you don't have. Start from somewhere. So I want to take some readings on this motherboard. This is our BIOS chip here. The one that is not having a 3.3 volts sorry guys let me let me let me come back again and try to see another. okay uh, check the board oh, why my, my multimeter is off i need to put it on Okay. Let's put on the multimeter first. Okay. And let's try to see. I'm trying to grab some voltages on this motherboard randomly to see whether I can come up with an idea. I'm also trying to undertake the physical inspection so that you can see the obvious. Try to see whether you can see something obvious that could be stopping the motherboard from working. <laughs> and I'm getting surprised each, each and every time because the motherboard looks very mint. Very mint. 
from manufacture. Well, those are the two MOSFETs. These are supposed to take the 19 volts rails. Right. Try to inspect uh, this. Uh, okay, that's no. Yeah, that is the RAM stick. Uh, that is the processor, the heat sink. Yeah, I'm not finding anything unusual here. And so I'm starting to get confused. Uh, before I've done physical inspection has been and I've been able to see the obvious very quickly under the microscope. Uh, but our motherboard here looks very, very mint. It's in mint condition. Nobody else has been here. Uh, is there anything here? Is there much to concentrate on here? Okay, let me try to check the readings. Let me try to take some readings. can see the multimeter 1 point something voltage drop nothing there anybody it's taking 4 milliamps you can see on the power supply it's too little current yeah this is the ram stick uh, I tried to check here, yeah, it's also taking nothing. There's no voltage drop on the RAM stick too. A PC3, so... A PC3, what voltage is a PC3 RAM supposed to take? Is it 1.8 or 1.5, guys? Nothing, as you can see. I think the PC2 was supposed to record a 3 volts, a PC3 or 1.5 or 1.8 or something to do with 2 volts. PC4 is taking around 1.2 volts or even 0 0.8. Yeah, nothing on this RAM stick. Oh, it's funny how this laptop will even have to, is even able to put the backlit, the backlit, uh, the keyboard backlights on. I don't know. The CMOS battery there. What's up with the CMOS? The screen connector is here. Should we try to check our 19 volts power rail here? Of course we will. We will check that 19 volts power rail. We need to know where the voltage is. How the, uh, those voltages are going. Yeah, when you're on the screen, try to check the bigger pads. That's where you're going to get your 19 volts power rail. 19 volts travels on a bigger pad than normal. Yeah, like the ones you can see there, the two, either of them. Let me check this one here. Yeah, still getting zero. No, we should get some voltage because we have our 19 volts. We checked there before and we saw that 19 volts is present. We cannot again now start to miss the 19 volts. So it's, I think I'm seated on a wrong ground. Should I change the ground? Let me change the ground and see whether we are going to have the 19. Let me check a better ground. Yes, 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 we have our 19 volts there. You can see. 19 volts is there. Okay. Nineteen volts is present. 
So now where should we go? So I'm thinking of having to re to disassemble the motherboard and check the other sides of the motherboard so that you can also go physical inspection on the other side of the motherboard. Maybe that's where the issue is. But now we have been able to assess that our 3.3 volts that belongs to this BIOS GPE you are seeing is not very okay. It's not up to task. It's not 3.3. And there must be something that is cutting that power. But that's what we need to investigate and get. What is cutting the 3.3 power? Power rail? Also on pin number 8 we are having nothing. Nothing there. Nothing. I'm trying to think. Now, guys, I may have to. To flip the board on the other side, it's December. Get the board and check the other side. We see what is going on there. Maybe we have some water damage on the other side of the board. Who knows? Maybe that is the case. I'm trying to take some resistance on some components here, guys. Let me do that very quickly so that we can disassemble the. What do we have here? Okay. Okay. What do you think? What should we check here? Another CMOS battery. We have tried to reset that one. It also didn't work. So check on the power supply. It's taking 0.4 amps, or almost 0.5, and then goes off. Yeah, check again. 0.5, almost 0.5 milliamps. An amp, 0.5 over an amp. And then goes off. 0 0.49 amps. For some time. And then goes off. Oh. Do we need a miracle here? There's no longer, there are no longer miracles, guys. We have to check what is going on here. Yeah, this, the, 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 I don't know where, the, the temperature is a bit high here. I don't know why, the voltage, I can't see any voltage on the RAM. I'm not detecting, I'm not taking, collecting any voltage on the RAM, but it's a bit hot, why? Or maybe it's hot because there's a short circuit that is preventing the the power to flow. Let me try to put it on without a, without a RAM so that if it doesn't work, we dismantle this motherboard and try to check on the other sides of the laptop. Let me check how many on the power supply. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? The machine is working. Oh, come on. What's, what's up with this RAM? A RAM stick? I've been detecting some higher temperatures on that area there, but I've not taken time to think about the RAM. I was collecting no voltage anyway on the RAM stick. How could I have thought? That the RAM could be causing an issue here. Oh, I've never seen this. Yeah, the machine is working properly. 
the machine is working fine. What do you mean? Let me try to take back the stick. Oh, the machine was frozen. Maybe the machine was frozen and now it's... What is that? So are we... Ha okay, is it going to come on again? Let me see. Yeah, nothing. So are we having a shorted RAM port or the RAM itself? That must be the RAM itself because... After we remove the RAM, the port is remaining on the motherboard. So the RAM has some has got some issues. Is it a short circuit or not? Oh, I've wasted so much time trying to check on other areas. I should have thought about RAM before about that RAM before. I almost gave up on this laptop, guys. Yeah, it's not working with the RAM on board, so let's again repeat without the RAM. <laughs> oh, that's this is funny. See, the machine is working. RAMs, what is wrong with this RAM? Okay, guys, so that's all for today. Please subscribe like and share let me know what you think down in the comment section yeah we'll have to stop that video at that because now the laptop has worked before I even dismantled the before I even removed the motherboard never seen something like that so it's all for today guys let's meet in the next video so you get a proper job